Episode 2 starts with a wedding where the bride and groom are walking their wedding march. Then the bride suddenly stops after spotting someone. Seeing this, the groom pulls the bride, however, she trips on her dress, as it then falls down exposing her to the crowd present. The groom's grandfather who is a Christian. Then spots a tattoo of body Bodhisattva on the bride's back which becomes another issue later on in the episode. The father of the bride goes to an Bader law firm to file a case against the hotel, where the wedding was held for a compensation of 1 billion won. He tells them that the hotel has offered to refund the 230 million won spent on the wedding as well as compensate the couple with an additional 10 million won hotel voucher. Jung Myung Siak and CEO Han Sien Yun think that the compensation is valid. But the father wants a compensation of 1 billion and so compares Han Bader Law Firm to Thai as an law firm. This arouses Han Seo Young's competitiveness as she takes up the case for a billion won compensation. Jung Myung Siak holds a meeting with his team as they discuss the case. He splits the team into two, one team is to go and talk to the couple while the other is to go to the hotel undercover and find clues. Kwon Min Woo and Woo Young Woo make their way to the couple for questioning, while Choi Si Yan goes to the hotel with Lee Jun Ho. Kwon Min Woo and Woo Young Woo first go to the bride. Upon questioning her, Kwon Min Woo gets to know that the bride had almost no information about the wedding, as it was looked over by her father. He also finds out that the marriage might be over due to her Guarnian body suffer tattoo. But what surprised him was that, even though the bride complained about the loose fitting of her dress, the employees brushed it off. He then passes the questioning to Wu Young Wu, who points out the pictures of her husband kept in a box and the wedding ring on the table while asking her if she loves her husband or not. The scene then shifts to the questioning session with the groom, who complains about the lawsuit his father-in-law has filed. Kwon Min Woo then points to the discussion of breaking off the marriage and the groom confesses that the wedding was a decision of his grandfather. The groom adds that his grandfather felt betrayed when he saw the tattoo as he is a devout Christian and is ready to break the marriage. Woo Young Woo asks if he wants the same, but the groom says that he will follow the decision made by the adults. He then informs them about the psychiatric help the bride is taking. While leaving, Kwon Min Woo complains about how ridiculous this whole wedding is. As the bride and groom seriously lack independence from their parents. He points out that they are just rich kids who have never prepared a meal for themselves, which makes Woo Young Woo think that she must also lack independence from her father. We then follow Choi Siyan and Lee Jun Ho who are preparing a story on their way to the hotel. However, they are interrupted by Wu Young Wu's call who asks about the statement made by Kwon Min Wu. She is stopped by Choi Siyan. Who gets in the way to end the call on the grounds of it being business hours. She then asks Jun Ho if this happens often, and we get to know that it does. She reminds him that it is necessary for him to set boundaries. Suddenly her stomach starts to make weird noises. Upon reaching the hotel she rushes to the toilet, as she seems to have a bad case of diarrhea and ends up soiling her pants. Wu Young Wu rushes to the hotel with a pair of pants for Choi Sion, who then tells her to take her place. As she explains the scenario she had set up with Lee Jun Ho. She then rushes back into the toilet, while Wu Young Wu goes to the wedding consultant with Lee Jun Ho. At the consultant's office, Wu Young Wu unnecessarily explains the story of their flashback. Then later goes on to choose a dress for Wu Young Wu to try on. While Wu Young Wu is taken to try the dress, Choi Sion hears an employee talking about someone who was fired due to the incident. She soon calls Lee Jun Ho who then follows the employee and tries to ask her about the woman who was fired due to the incident. But before he could ask any further, he is interrupted by the wedding team's leader, who asks him to come and see the dressed up Wu Young Wu. When Lee Jun Ho sees Wu Young Wu, he goes speechless while she laughs at the comment. 
Look at his face, he is totally in love made by the employee next to her. The scene then shifts to a private courtroom where the judge tries to resolve the issue, before starting an official trial. We then see Choi Seon and Kwon Min Woo. Trying bride's psychiatrist to testify in the court, why she got treatment. But he refuses it. Next, we see Woo Young Woo and Lee Jun Ho at a bakery. When Woo Young starts talking about whales again, Jun Ho try to persuade her to change the topic, but he fails, then later she agrees. Then they spot the employee from the hotel's wedding team and try to get the fired employee's contact information. However, they face disappointment when they get to know that she has left the country. The scene shifts to the courtroom where the trial is held. Lee Jun Ho gets the employee they had met to the court as a witness from the plaintiff's side. She testifies that the incident was not completely an accident, as the head of the wedding business team knew that the dress was ill-fitting, as it was not the bride's dress but someone else's. After this statement, the plaintiff's side feels more positive about the case, until the defendant's side calls upon the bride to the stand. There they reveal that the bride had made posts on a website called Waggle about how she dislikes this marriage and how she had ruined it. Back at the office, Jung Myung Siak's team hold a discussion with the bride to get her to reveal anything else that she is hiding. She tells them that this wedding was more of a deal for her father, as the groom's grandfather had promised to give her land as a wedding gift. Wu Young Wu catches this and points out that they can now apply for compensation for special damages as the bride was promised land. The incident has caused her a loss of land worth billions of won, and that is compensation that they can request. She then leaves after being asked by Jung Moon Siak to write a statement of opinion. The next day, they tell the news to the bride's father, who then reveals the estimated value of the land to be 33.2 billion won. However as the amount is too much for the judge to make a ruling on. They will make a request for 10% of the total worth. The father is pleased but the bride is not happy about how her opinion does not seem to matter in this case. The scene shifts to the courtroom again. Where Jung Myung Siak succeeds in proving that promise was made by the groom's grandfather. He is about to win the case, when the bride states that she would like to withdraw the lawsuit. We see a flashback of the bride consulting Wu Young Wu on how to withdraw the lawsuit. She tells the bride that all she has to do is say, I would like to withdraw the lawsuit, and this will end it. Coming back to the present, the bride confirms her statement to the judge, while her father gets furious at her, but is unable to say anything. The lawsuit thus comes to an end. The bride then confronts her father that the tattoo was no mistake, as she is Buddhist and that she is a lesbian. The woman next to her is not her friend but someone that she is dating. She stopped at her wedding when she saw her in the crowd. Everyone present is shocked as she leaves with her girlfriend. The team then goes for an outing at an expensive restaurant from where Wu Young Wu gets a takeout for her father. At home. She gives her father the Jimbrook takeout while telling him that it would be hard for her to get married in the future, due to her autism. Elsewhere, at Taiyazin Law Firm. The CEO is being interviewed after which she receives the news that the bride's father had withdrawn all his cases and given them to Han Barter. She finds out that an attorney named Wu Young Wu succeeded in making the case a billion one one which piques her interest in Wu Young Wu.